welcome to another edition of Eric's Product Reviews brought to you by HollywoodFrodo.com. I, of course, am Eric, and today I'm going to be reviewing a cardboard box. Seriously, I am going to be reviewing this cardboard box, but this isn't just any cardboard box. This is a new product called a scanner bin. And uh, it's a really simple but smart product and very, very inexpensive. So uh, definitely worth adding to your collection if you have a lot of things you want to be able to scan using your mobile phone or possibly a tablet. Um, what this is, it's a bin where, first of all, you can collect the uh, papers that you want to scan. So, you know, you have this sitting by your desk and anytime you have something you want to scan, you just drop it in there and collect it. And then when you're ready to start scanning them all, you turn it like this and you put the paper in the base like that and it's just the perfect size and there's this cutout in the top that your camera and your flash from your phone uh, lines up with that and you use a scanner app such as cam scanner or genius scan which i've reviewed um, or whatever is your your preferred scanning app and uh, you take a scan of the paper so very simple but works really really well um, now you're probably thinking does it really work is it really that effective can i just make one myself well you probably could make one yourself but why go through all the trouble trying to get exactly the right size box and get it all set up when someone's already done it for you and uh, done it very affordably um and yes it does work uh he's done all taken all the guesswork out of it because he's uh, uh tested it and, and perfected it and made it so that it works the way you would want it to work so of course you want to see it in action. So we're going to jump over. I'm going to show you how it comes, how you set it up from the beginning and go through the entire process of setting it up and show you just how well it really works. Okay, so this is the scanner bin. This is how it ships. It uh, ships flat and you put it together yourself. Inside of here you have uh, your test alignment page as well as a uh, flattener. We'll look at that in a minute. Um, and then you have your instructions that tell you how to put it together. So we're gonna do that right now. Uh, let's see, hold it here. Basically, hold that. This goes first. There you go. And there you have it. It's your camera's gonna run. You want to flatten this out. If you're going to use it permanently, you might even want to tape that down so that it's completely flat inside there, but you don't have to, but you can. Um, now this is a scanner bin because it does two things. One, it allows you to, as you're collecting pages that need to be scanned, you just drop them in there and they collect all in there for you. And then when you're ready to scan, it becomes your scanner. Um, now you see these uh, two little uh, pads were included in there as well. These are going to be your guides. And uh, basically what you do, let's see, it tells you right here, um, use your smartphone, download a scanning application, uh, you place the smartphone onto a scanner bin with the camera and the flash pointing through the cutout, you place the test page in there, uh, once you get it all lined up the way it needs to be, you can mark it with a pencil and then you use these two little pads to put on there so when you do subsequent scans, it's all set up for you. Um, you don't have to line it up because you just put it against those pads and you're ready to go. And uh, that's how you use it. You throw things in it throughout the week or day. And then when you're ready to scan, you take them out, turn it up, and you start scanning. And then this explains the, uh, the flattener. This is just in case you have folded paper, you can lay this on top of that paper to hold it flat. And the cutout is to uh, so you don't get the flash glare when you're using your flash. So that's it. Only downside to this is probably the fact that um, it's a dust magnet. Um, but you can, it is plastic, so you can uh, wash it off. Um, you don't have to use that, that's just if you need it to hold a, a piece of paper flat that is a little bent. So let's give this a go. Here's our test alignment page. Um, and on the back of here you have a packing list. Make sure you have everything you need in there. So. Just to place this in here with the arrows against the right side and then the bottom arrows against the bottom border of the box. And so we got that. As you can see there, making sure 
to make sure I'm lined up with your video camera. My video camera so you guys can see this good and see how it works. Uh, now we're going to go on my phone. I'm going to open a cam scanner. Which is a scanning app and uh, I've reviewed uh, several scanning apps. Cam scanner and I believe Genius Scan. Uh, either one of those uh, should work. They're the top two recommended on the recommendation list as well. So, uh, let's see, I'm going to go into settings, make sure my flash is on. Um, this box is designed so that when you, uh, the flash, because it's all white, it makes sure the light is completely and evenly distributed so that uh, it really makes sure the page is illuminated the way it needs to be to get a good scan. So then with this on top, we're going to line that up to make sure the entire document shows in there, and I can see that it does, but I also want to make sure my flash is lined up well. My phone actually has two flashes on it, one on either side. It looks like both of them should be able to flash through there. So now I'm going to take the picture and I'm going to click that and there you go. Now one thing that maybe could be improved I think is uh, if it would be more complicated but if the bottom of the box were maybe uh, just the bottom uh, half inch or inch of the box were gray instead of white um, because as you can see most of these uh, scanning apps try to automatically detect corners and uh, since the box is white uh, it obviously this corner and this corner it, it was unable to detect on its own so you can adjust that yourself but obviously for efficiency it'd be great if there were a little more distinction so that you didn't have to do this because this takes a little more time and uh, you know time is money if you're using this process you want it to be as fast as you can so uh, what I might do is try to take something and gray out the bottom of the box uh, with a marker or, or light paint or something it doesn't have to be gray as long as it's a different color because you can see uh, this app detected these corners on its own just because the piece of paper is a whiter white than the sides of the box um, so if maybe the bottom box were just a light, light gray, uh, just a tiny bit, it would uh, help improve that process, which would be kind of good. So I might try to do that on my own. But it still works effective, pretty fast, as you can see. Didn't take much to adjust, and look at that. Once you get it, it's a perfectly scanned page, uh, and Cam Scanner or uh, Genius Scan, uh, they all convert to PDF, and you can do... Uh, batch scanning so you can if you're scanning documents that all belong together in one file you can batch scan um, fairly easily um, and they all do a great job so now that we know it works I could do that again um, line it up and uh, uh, line it up and then once I had it lined up take a pencil and mark on either side where my phone goes then remove it and place the pads um, so that I could put it there really quickly next time. You don't have to do that, um, especially if you maybe you're thinking you'll use different devices with this. Then you can just line it up each time. Once your phone is there, it's not really going anywhere. So you, you line it up once and then you can do a bunch of scans. Um, but that's pretty much what it does. Uh, and yeah, it is just a cardboard box. But someone else has gone through the trouble of creating a box that is a specific size to hold uh, your standard 8.5 by 11 paint paper with the hole in the right place um, and you just use it as a bin throughout the day to uh, throw stuff in it. So that's how it works. So as you can see the uh, scanner bin works great. It actually does what it says it does. It just makes it a lot easier than trying to scan a bunch of documents handheld with your, with, uh, your camera and you know your hand is shaky or it's hard to get it lined up exactly right, exactly flat. Um, to get the best scan and even though uh, the apps will compensate for a slightly angled scan it's not going to be as good as if you have an exact flat scan exactly the best lineup and the scanner bin is very simple uh, but effective at doing that and again it's very affordable uh, you can order it through Amazon I'll have a link to the product on Amazon in the description below you can click that link jump over to Amazon and pick one up for yourself um, again, it's, it's very inexpensive, very affordable. So uh, if you are someone who uses your 
phone to scan stuff or maybe you need to scan things but you don't want to invest in a scanner or have a big bulky scanner sitting on your desk that you're going to use every once in a while this is a really good solution for that so check it out um, anyway that's it for this review if you know anyone who might be interested in this product then please share this with them on facebook Google, Twitter, um, all those ways are down there. Just click the right button. Um, also, check out my channel for all kinds of other really cool and interesting gadget reviews and home product reviews, anything from vacuum cleaners to coffee makers uh, to Bluetooth devices. It's all there, as well as a huge list of Android app reviews if you have an Android phone. As I mentioned, I'd already reviewed before a couple of the scanner apps that I used uh, to test out uh, the... Uh, 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 the scanner bin. So you can check out those reviews and find out some really cool apps to make your Android phone even better and also a Tasker tutorial series. So be sure to check out all that stuff and that's really going to be it until next time. So have a great day.